rest of the starting lineup is as expected. Rangers are still without international left back David Robertson, who was injured against Holland last week. Alexei Mikhailachenko starts the match, while Gordon Jury is on the bench with Duncan Ferguson. Well, it's farewell to the Firhill Shad because after the match, the demolition people move in. Uh, let's hope uh, they let us out first, but a new stand will be there for next season. The referee is Bill Crombie from Edinburgh. So it's the partnership of McCoyst and Hitley who begin this important match. And Mark Hitley needs just one goal tonight. Seven games. Record of last season. He's on 28 goals. And Ali McCoyst, despite all of his injury problems, has managed eight so far. Well, Rangers charging towards the championship. And it's not a matter of will they win it, it's when they'll win it. But for Patrick Thistle, they need the points in the fight against relegation. But for just one defeat in the five games since last meeting, Rangers, that was on February 5th. And here come Rangers, it's Gary Stevens, winning the number two, but operating again on the left side. This will respond, a long ball played through there by Bobby Law. Ball swept away by Greg Watson. Picked up by Ian Ferguson for Rangers. Now it's Gary Stevens. Ferguson again. Quickly shut down by Chan Lee. Gary Stevens. McCoy's trying to get through. Stevens again to Mikhailachenko. Cutting away from Burn. Through for McCall. Chanto as well there to block that. Stevens provides the cross, the header there from Trevor Steven. Yeah, the Stevens combining here, and it wasn't that far away this one with Trevor Steven. Um, obviously, all the defenders a bit more concerned about Hately there. Trevor Steven nips in there and just sends that one over the bar. Goff. Ferguson. Him towards Hately, he did well to get the touch, and uh, the referee stepping in and awarding a free kick. Well, Hately is saying that uh, the incident took place inside the area, but uh, the referee awarding the free kick just outside the 18 yard line. Yeah, it's, a, it's a dangerous situation as well. It's certainly been a good opening start to the game for Rangers. Uh, and only five minutes or so gone, and they've already had Thistle under pressure on a few occasions. So, a change of ball. And a free kick for two Rangers. Richard Goff has moved into the area. Boyce is daffing about, a lot of movement. McPherson's up there too, and it was Roddy Grant uh, who was back, giving a much-needed helping hand. He's claiming there was uh, an elbow used there. Yeah, and just as well, it was a good defensive header for the centre forward. And you've got Goff, Goff and McPherson breathing, breathing down your neck. Complaining there about an elbow as well. Trevor Stephen. This one. And easily handled by Craig Nelson. Confident catch by the goalkeeper in these early stages. It's a free kick to Thistle against McCall for his challenge there on Isaac English. to Greg Watson, the former Aberdeen player. Now climbs above Grant. This is Charnley. It's Bobby Law. This is Cameron. That's behind for the goal kick. Ball rebounding off the Thistle man. Well, Mary Holborn. Cameron, although it's spelled as Mern, and 
Aberdeen. Won a Scottish Cup medal with uh, St. Mirren back in 87. Have the throw. <laughs> Stevens through to McCoist. Mikhailichenko. Gary Stevens, that's a fine effort. Well, he struck that one with plenty of power, and it wasn't far away. Gary Stevens still looking for his first goal of the season. Yeah, it's a nice layoff of Mikhailichenko. Gary Stevens playing in the unaccustomed left back row, come inside, really rattled that one, but failed to keep it in target. This is Law. And the way by Brown to Mikhailichenko. An upward one there for Gary Stevens. Good turn though by Mikhailichenko. to go at never and then he eventually gets put dwelling in the ball and they come in Phil Payton and a free kick to Rangers. Well the referee has gone over to have a word with uh, Mark Catley who has reacted angrily with a warning for the Rangers striker. Gary Stevens away towards McPherson. Ferguson's header powerfully by Greg Watson not the one this for golf Gary Stevens stepping away from Chick Charlie this is McCall Ferguson McPherson McCoy's moving in carefully watched by Watson and McCoy's doing well against the official defender there's a nice ball in and McCoy shields the ball here well, just makes a yard or two of space for himself to get that crossover, but good goalkeeping by Craig Nelson just as well because Matt Taylor was a yard or two behind him. McCall, and Trevor Stephen controls that well, through now for Ali McCoy. He plays way over in the far side of the area, and just throwing players forward here. So let's McCoy, we'll pick it through, almost finding headline. And the goalkeeper got his hand to it, and uh, Law pushed it behind for the corner. Yeah, well, that, that all started with a terrific through ball from Trevor Stephen. McCoy looks up, jinx, jinx, tries a cross that nearly eludes Craig Nelson, just slips past Matt Taitley. You get the distinct feeling there will be a few goals tonight. Chances are being made, and then uh, here's Trevor Stephen with the corner. Hatley attacks it, and the goalkeeper is rid of a fumble there, it's away by Craig. It's Trevor Stephen again, he shows good control. I went in, Hatley's up there, and good handling by Craig Nelson. Well, a little fumble a moment ago, but uh, he redeems himself with an excellent piece of goalkeeping. Well, once again, it's Trevor Stephen in the action here, slings over a really, although you'd expect to get the goalkeeper to get that one, but when you get Matt Taitley breathing down the neck, it's never that easy. Oh, this cue there by Gorham. The chance is on here for Ruddy Grant. By English again. And off the line by Brown. Well, Grant racing through. English having a great chance. And John Brown scrambling the ball off the line. Well, you've got to expect a thistle goal there. It's a bad kick out from Andy. What a dreadful kick out. Roddy Grant squares it across for English. It looks as if he must score, but it's a great block for Gorham. And 
John Brown performs acrobatics to get that one away. Driven in by Charlie. This is Law. Good spell this for Thistle. McCall now. Getting Rangers to the off by McCoy to Mikhailachenko. One went through the middle, but uh, no one there to the trouble Craig Nelson. But a good little spell there by Thistle. And warm applause comes from the fans. Andy Gorham there in the thick of the action. skills here, McCall just slips in that one in a difficult position but he makes space for himself, sends in a lovely near post cross and Haley gets in the header but Nelson gathers it comfortably that one for English to chase Celtic the referee giving a free kick Richard Goff not happy Thomas English and Grant giving the Rangers centre backs Real game of it. Gorham organises the defence. Charlie playing it short to Cameron. And the ball deflects right into the hands of Gorham. Well, Charlie taking that one early to Cameron and almost catching the range of defence. Yeah, well, this one's a long way out for Ian Cameron, but he's got a very good left foot and it ricochets off a few players, comes off Grant straight into Gorham's hands. That was a close thing for Rangers. Long one for Haitley. Not down to Ferguson. The early one now for Mikhailachenko. Good ball that from Ian Ferguson. Mikhailachenko, Haitley! And the ball behind for the corner kick. There's a great long ball out it from the halfway line here from Ian Ferguson. Just in behind the full back. Mikhailachenko picks it up. Knocks it into the pass of Haitley, but a good recovery tackle for a Rangers corner kick. Rangers push Goff and McPherson forward. Haitley's actually on the goal line. And again, excellent handling by Craig Nelson. And a lot of Rangers players coming in on him. He's had a splendid first half. The former Airdrie player. Clearance from John Brown. Gives this all the throw in. So less than the line with the Rangers penalty area. Well, Gordon wants to take the long throw ins. Again, it's headed in towards uh, Grant. And the header from Cameron. Safely gathered by Andy Gorham. They weren't that far away either, and uh, Ian Cameron, who's not really noted for his heading ability, gets the end of this one, but no real power in it to trouble Gorham. Here's Mikhailichenko. Well, it's Mikhailichenko getting away from Byrne. We could open up something here. And uh, Ali McCoy almost finishing it off. The Rangers have to settle for the corner kick. Kalachenko did well initially, stepping away from Burnley. Stabbed the ball through. McCoy got a touch to it, and then it was uh, scrambled away. Even with the corner. Goff's up there with the header! And it's a goal from the captain, Richard Goff. 43 minutes gone here at Firhill. Richard Goff gets his third goal of the season. In came the corner kick. And the goalkeeper can do a little about it. Well, it wasn't the most powerful Richard Goff header I've ever seen. I mean, he's a long way out here, but as you can see, it just bounces in front of Craig Nelson, just goes over the top of him into an air. That's a huge blow for Patrick Thistle because he defended very well in this first half.
free kick. The official is off complaining. Charlie. Well, goes behind for the corner kick. They certainly get plenty of power into that. Yeah, I think Andy Gorham's quite happy for Gary Stevens to knock this one away because that looked a very dangerous free kick and might have tested Andy, Go Andy Gorham. We're into injury time now. As the corner can do it, Hayley back helping defensively. Cameron sends it across goal. It's Goff getting in the header. Hitley looks it away from Byrne. Also chasing back here. And uh, Byrne recovers well. And the half-time whistle. Sands. With the two players collided. But it was Richard Goff, just a minute before half-time, who got the opener for Rangers. Trevor Stevens sending in the corner kick. And Goff's head up. Eluding Craig Nelson, the half-time score at Fair Hill, Patrick Thistle nil, Rangers. And it's Thistle who gets the second half on the way, torrential rain. And no changes in uh, either lineup. Thistle have Bobby Barnes and Andy Gibson on the bench, Rangers have Gordon Jury and Duncan Ferguson. Here comes Thistle, right from the kick-off, trying to get themselves back into this game. Played so well in the first half. Come in for Andy Gorham to handle from Charnley. Gunther Hatley. Here by Tierney. This is Cameron. Charnley. In for handball by Charnley, but the referee moving play on. This is Cameron. Wall. Charnley. They get through, that's a good ball for English. What a perfect equaliser from Isaac English. 54 minutes gone and Isaac English has scored earlier in the season here against Rangers. Strikes again. It was a superb ball by Chick Charlie that brought the light to the Thistle fans. A superb goal. Yeah, Andy Gorham not at all happy with his defence here. Great big space opens up here, as you can see, but it's a lovely weighted pass to Chick Chandler. Nicely finished by Isaac English. The ball is given away again. And Carson does well, stands it away from Bobby Law. That opens up a bit of space. Chandler is chasing back. He's played into us, Hadley. Into handball there. Larry McCoy moving furiously, but the referee was right there. Up with the play. Just turns away. Tells him to get on with it. The Rangers have possession. Mikhailichenko. Through by Jury. McCoy. And taken by Craig Nelson. Good play again by Jury. A very tight situation. Yeah, Mikhailichenko knocks this one. And first touch for Jury here, very good. But Ali McCoy needs two touches before he can turn and whip that one at the goalkeeper. Ends up, Nelson saves it quite comfortably. That was pretty close. Nice ball in here by Mikhailichenko. Lovely first touch by Jury. Just gets stuck under McCoy's feet a little bit. Didn't really get the power behind the shot. And English charging through Gorham's from well out of his area. Thanks, John Brown. Brown now with a long ball for McCall. And we find a bit of space. And that's behind for the corner. The challenge going in from Willie Jimison. Yeah, that was a great block there from Jimison. Read that long through ball from Brown very well. And denied McCall getting a cross in and what would have been a really dangerous situation. And his defensive partner just a moment or two before that with a great headed clearance. Mikhailichenko who's switched over to take this one. And to get the in swinger, but he decides to leave it now to Gordon Jury. And uh, on comes Duncan Ferguson. Still to score his first goal for Rangers. And 
comes the corner. The Rangers push through. And the header going in there from the substitute and uh, not far away. It's certainly really a dramatic entrance for Duncan Ferguson here. Flying well at the back post. Header not too far away. Oh, Ferguson on for Mikhailachenko, who's just about to take the corner. So got the message from the touchline. Well, Rangers paid four million pounds for Duncan Ferguson. A goal from him tonight would certainly help. There's a good shot there from Jury. The points in there, and the save from Craig Nelson again. Well, this is fantastic goalkeeping for Craig Nelson. I'll tell you what, Jury doesn't have hit this one. A lot of power behind this right foot shot. Nelson's down, looks a like goal all the way, McCoy's pouncing up, and another great block for Craig Nelson. Right. We're looking at the future Scotland goalkeeper here, I don't think there's any doubt about that. He's had a fine season, great double save. He's in action again here, and that's great handling. On a night for the rain, is pouring down. Patrick Thistle have a real star in this man. The Thistle fans agree. That was number one, the chance. And so Sandy Gorham at the far end holds that position at the moment, but he must be impressed by what he saw at the other end there. A free kick to Rangers. They're certainly finishing this game a lot stronger than Rangers and Patrick Thistle, and Patrick Thistle are under a fair bit of pressure now. Craig Nelson certainly didn't get busy.